Good afternoon. We want to talk to you today about control in relationships because it is a deteriorating energy that many are experiencing and they don't really understand what it is or why it is that things are headed south or not going in the direction that they're wanting it to go in, you see. We've told you before that humans are sovereign beings, that they have free will and that they have come here in that sovereignty to pick and choose and decide what it is, how it is, who it is, that they will live their life with and find the joy that they have come here in uh, looking for, you see. What happens with a human when they partner uh, with someone is they decide that certain things start to stretch them or to pull them out of their comfort zone. And this fear kicks in. It is normally the primary reason for the control to become engaged in the relationship to begin with, you see. So we want you to know that the reason that you move to control is that you are fearful that somehow uh, you are not going to be the one that is determining what the one is going to be doing that you are in relationship with. Therefore, that makes you uncomfortable. You feel as though if you keep control of them, if you decide for them where, where they will go, how long they will go and what they will do, uh, you will not experience this fear, you see. But you would pay no attention at all to the negativity you are experiencing as you are denying them their sovereignty. You think that you are in the right, you're justifying it. You are their husband. You are their mate. You are uh, their parent, whoever you say you are. And so you have the right to justify what it is that you are doing and how you are doing it, you see. But we would ask you, as we always do, do you pay attention to how you feel when you are moving in this way in a relationship? Or do you just spontaneously go along and do things and then get more and more out of control as you do it and not realize how you find yourself at the point and place where you're in a, a conflict? Uh, with the one that you are in partnership with, you see. And that's never going away. This ping pong effect is going to continue on and on and on until you finally realize uh, who you are, what you are, and why you are here. You're here the same reason that that partner of yours is here. You're here for your own desires, your own preferences, your own choices, and in seeking of your own joy, you see. And even though you decide that there are those that you will couple with, those that you will have in your experience or be on the journey with, it does not in any way give up your free will or your sovereignty. And once this starts to happen, as we said earlier, things start to go south, you see. That fear that you have of losing the one that you love will become a reality as you enforce your control over them. This will be the very thing that will actually bring onto you what you're trying to avoid. It's why control comes up to begin with. There's a deep-rooted fear within you that you will lose that one if you don't control them. You are not enough, that somehow they are having more fun, they are doing things that you don't agree with, whatever it is that you are worried about, is what is the very thing that has stimulated the control within you that will actually bring to reality that thing that you're really not wanting or you say you're not wanting. We want you to live in unity, in peace, in joy. We want you to set the one free that you are in relationship with because we know that when you give freedom, you get freedom. We know that when you offer love and support and honoring to another, that this is what you receive in return. And if you think that you're going to control someone or that you're somehow going to uh, decide for them how that is that they're going to live out their days or spend their life, you're going to end up living yours alone. That's what's going to happen. That very fear that you have is going to become a reality. Now, what are we suggesting? We're suggesting that you understand sovereignty and free will, and that you know that if anything is going to come to you, you're going to be the creator of it. Your partner is not going to take off with someone else, is not going to lie to you, is not going to cause you any trouble unless you are harboring some type of worry or feeling or concern as far as trouble goes, you see. You are the determiner of your experience. We keep telling you this over and over again, but for some reason, you just don't get the message. You decide to control, you decide to justify, you decide to say, I support you, I do this, I do that, so you do as I tell you to do, you see. And as you do this and as you imprison the one that you are in partnership with, you're setting a jail sentence for yourself, you see. There's never a feeling that you're going to have that's not going to return back to you like a boomerang. And if you're trying to confine someone to take away their free will and their sovereignty, believe us, they will become free of you, you see. It's intolerable for a human to live this way under these circumstances and situations and not be deceiving and not be what it is that you're not wanting them to be. You're forcing them into it, you see, by your very decision of not trusting, of not allowing, of controlling, of feeling that 
you have to control in order for the experience to go the way that you want it to go. Your experience will go the way that you want it to go based upon the feelings that you emanate. And we're going to tell you right now, if you're emanating from control, you're not feeling very good. You're feeling bully energy. You're feeling dominance. You're feeling righteousness. You're feeling anger, rage sometimes. How might the universe return that onto you? Not very pleasantly, we would tell you. We are hoping that you get this understanding in the message that we are sending you. Live in freedom. Let those that you are in interaction with live in freedom. Let them join you if they want to, and you join them if you want to. And in this way, you will live in unity and peace, and you will have the relationship of your dreams. But you're never going to get there from control or dominance or forcement. Good day.